And the U.S. is setting record numbers of COVID cases as the Omicron variant spreads further. And here in the Valley, hospitalizations are climbing, but health officials say this surge is different than previous ones. Local 23's Bryce Helms is putting local first tonight as he brings us more from local health care workers and our increasing cases. During previous peaks in hospitalizations, deaths from COVID increased as well. The increase of deaths percentage does not mirror the increase of hospital admissions. Adalgo County Health Authority Dr. Ivan Melendez says it is still too soon to say Omicron is not as dangerous as Delta was, but so far the outlook is good. We can infer a lot more cases, a lot less acutely ill people, a lot less people dying percentage wise. Rolando Casas, the Assistant Emergency Management Coordinator for Cameron County, says hospitals are having to turn some patients away. We're asking the, the ambulance companies if it's not a highly critical patient to try to divert to another hospital. There are still plenty of hospital beds available in Cameron County. The problem is with the amount of health care workers available. Again, um, not due so much because of the quantity of COVID cases going in, more because of the staff that are down with COVID. Texas is sending additional workers to hospitals in Cameron and Hidalgo County to help cover the shortage. It'll take time for those workers to arrive and start working. Until then, the public can help the hospitals. We just ask everybody to do their part, stay as safe as possible, and take the precautions. We've, we've let our guard down a little bit, but uh, we need everybody to get back on, get back on point with that and, and start putting our guard back up. Putting local first in Cameron County, I'm Bryce Holmes. And Cameron County is hosting more vaccine and COVID testing clinics in Brownsville and Laferia this week.